Hey book besties, welcome to a very, very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be building my home library. I am actually so, so excited. But first, I want to show you guys what my current reading room office space is looking like. I currently have one bookshelf, but I recently ordered two new bookshelves from Ikea and they're actually arriving tomorrow and I'm so excited to build them, put them together together and just have my own little home library space. I am so excited. So this is what the reading room currently looks like. I have my desk. This is where I work from home and this is the current bookshelf I have. This is also from Ikea. It is the Calyx 4x4 bookshelf. I'll have a link down below. I absolutely love this one but as you can see it is very very full at the moment and I'm still planning on keeping this bookshelf but I'm thinking of moving this bookshelf over here and then the bookshelves that I ordered they are the Billy bookcases you guys will see them when I put them together in this vlog but I'm gonna have the two bookshelves here because they are bigger than this one and they're also taller so I think that'll be like really nice over here but that's the plan at the moment so basically this video is going to be consisting of building my new bookshelves taking out the current books on this bookshelf moving them over and just designing and creating my dream home library. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. The bookshelves are here. They've arrived. They're in these two boxes. So I'm going to unbox these and try to put them both together today. I'm so excited. Let's unbox these. I'm so tired. exhausted right now I just finished building both of the bookshelves which is so exciting they were actually not that hard to build at all I was like so scared because normally I I'm not really that good at building furniture but your girl did it she built two bookshelves in one day so I'm pretty proud of myself they look so good I still need to actually put in all the actual shelves but I built the actual bookshelf I'm gonna put the shelves in once I have the actual bookshelves in the spot that I want them just so it's a lot easier to move because they are so heavy. Oh my gosh, they were a pain for me to even like move them against the wall, but they're not in the spot that I want them at the moment. Um, I just need help to move it <laughs> into the spot that I want to, but it's just me at the moment, so I can't do it right at this moment. But I now have the fun task of removing all the books off of my cube bookshelves. And I do have two boxes, so hopefully they'll be able to fit. I highly doubt it because I have so many books on that bookshelf just so it's easier for me to move the cubes over to the other side of the wall and then I can move other two bookshelves I just built to the side that the current cubes are in if that makes sense you guys will see the process let me show you guys the bookshelves I built because I'm so proud of myself you guys should be so proud like she's a builder not really um but look Oh my gosh, they're so tall. They are the Billy bookcases. One is over here. One is over here at the moment. This one was so hard because when I moved it up, it was sitting over here and I had to like try to push it in the carpet over to this side just so it's leaning against the wall because otherwise I was worried it was going to fall over. Oh, hi, queen. Um, Bella's here for moral support right now. Already put these little, I don't know what they're called, they're little bolts so I can put the shelves in. I did do a test shelf to see how it would look like and I feel like this is a good length. But yeah, this is what what we're working with at the moment I've got to remove all the books and then move it into this box or move it somewhere else let's cue in the time lapse removing the books off my shelf just finished removing 
removing everything off my bookshelves. It's so empty. Oh my gosh. But look at this. Oh my god. Bear with me while I figure out what I'm going to do next with all the books while I get everything in place. Okay, so I have an extra box here. I have another box over there. I'm going to try and fit as many boxes. Oh my god, I can't speak. I'm going to try and fit as much books as I possibly can in those two boxes. I have no idea how people move houses when they have a huge home library because oh my gosh, that would be crazy. Anyways, hopefully you guys can see all okay, but I'm going to start packing these boxes. First ones to go in are my Callaway Sisters books. I'm like so worried that I'm going to like accidentally destroy my books in this process. Like my books are my literal children. Also guys, let me know if you want me to do a separate bookshelf tour because I have been thinking about doing one but obviously now that I have these two new bookshelves, once like they're full or semi-full, I want to do like a proper organize my bookshelf and bookshelf tour video sort of situation. So let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in because I know I really enjoy seeing other people's bookshelves and their bookshelf tours. So let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see from me in the future. <laughs> So this is the new official home library setup. I am loving it and it's gonna look so good when I've got the books actually on the shelves. So basically I've got my OG cube shelves over here and then I've got my new taller bookshelves over here, like right in the middle. And then I've got my hanging plants over on each side, which I love. I feel like that just adds so much. And then I have another hanging plant up here as well, right in the middle, which I thought was really fun. Also with the new bookshelves, because they were two individual taller ones, I actually had someone come out and attach these shelves together, which was really awesome because now it kind of makes just one giant shelf and these are attached together, which is great. I also got them wall mounted because I was so worried they would topple over. It is now time to pop all the books onto my new shelves and I have no idea how I want to organize. A part of me wants to do like a rainbow or color coordinated shelf and then another part of me wants to do it by series and authors and genres and I have no idea what I want to do so I'm gonna start off by just popping books on the shelf and then I'll probably end up officially properly organizing it to my liking at a later time I just want to move all the books out of the boxes and onto my shelf. So I'm gonna shut up now because I am rambling for no reason. So let's start putting books on my shelf. Walk into the place, dispatch your formal ways. My heart, it started racing. The crowd across the way, flower was on your face. And then I'm from the 80s. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel so good and I thought I would do a quick little bookshelf home library tour now that it's all done I'm not gonna go into an in-depth bookshelf tour because I plan on doing an official bookshelf tour once my bookshelves are actually more filled up because I have a whole bookshelf right here free so I want to have my bookshelves more filled up before I do a full-on bookshelf tour but let me give you a tour of how my home library is looking like now this is my new home library setup this is my work desk so whenever I work from home I work over here I normally have a second monitor as well but I moved it because I needed to put all my books on top of there so um I'll I have to put that back later on, but 
This is what it's currently looking like. And then my beautiful bookshelves, stunning. Let's go through the new bookshelves first. So this top shelf here is just Harry Potter featuring a, another fantasy book called Only a Monster. Then over here, I have more of my fantasy and mystery series. So I've got like Akatar, Red Queen, Twilight, Book of the Air Trilogy, Good Girls Guide to Murder, and then a little candle. Then over here is my little coho shelf. I don't own all of her books yet, so it's only filled up to here. And then I've got um, a little reindeer sitting here to kind of occupy the space. And then over here, I've got some of my more romance series. So I've got the Twisted series, the Callaway Sisters series, and my favorite series of all time, the Simple Wild series. Down here, I've got two color coordinated shelves, which are my pink and my blue shelves. And these are my personal favorites because they're so aesthetically pleasing. So I've got pink here and blues here. Most of these are romances. Up here, it's empty except for this shelf that I spontaneously decided to fill up which is more like my mints and green kind of shelf so kind of color coordinated and this little sloth here which is from Kmart and then I have my Kermit toy which I've had for years since I was a little kid so I popped him up here as well and hanging plants of course then I've got my cube shelves which are my OG shelves this shelf doesn't really have much coordination these books are just random books that I've owned for years and then over here I've got some extra copies of Harry Potter. These are like my OG ones. Then I've got a personalized book that I got from Hooray Heroes, which is me and Bella, my dog. And then over here, I've got some color coordination. I've got like reds, oranges, and yellows. These are also mainly romances. I've got my selection series on display and I've got a little Harry Potter Funko Pop. This is not even organized. It's just kind of chucked in there. Then I've got like a little purple shelf with my Polaroid camera. And then this one is kind of like my more darker colored books my graduation bear and um a little box full of storage stuff and then i have this little fake plant as well in this little basket that officially concludes this build and organize my home library with me i had so much fun filming this i'm so glad i actually filmed this whole process because initially i wasn't going to but i'm glad i did because hopefully this gave you some bookshelf organization inspo or just like home library inspo in general or just that you found this video entertaining because i definitely had a lot of fun because i have always dreamt of having my own cozy library space in my home and I feel like I've just brought that vision to life and I just want to stare at my bookshelves all day every day now like yeah this space is truly me and I'm also excited to buy more books because now I actually have space on my shelves to have new books which is really exciting and like I said I will definitely do an in-depth bookshelf tour going through every single book that I own once my bookshelves are a little bit more filled up just so I can do like a really amazing long big bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed watching though. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. I post new videos every single week and follow me over on my social medias. I'll have everything linked down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!